What's up everyone? Uh, you don't need to click away. This isn't a rental cart video. We're gonna go actual racing. Uh, <laughs> uh, we've been trying to race for like a month now. So you saw the first two Clay City videos and I tried to make a third one and they've been rained out like four times and they've been postponing it forever. Uh, unfortunately, we're probably not gonna make it to uh, Clay City now. I think the most recent rain date is the 27th and we're just we're not gonna be able to make that one but we are going to head down to Science Hill Kentucky to the farm track so the original plan was to go down there this summer and since we got a free weekend we figured this would be a nice little uh, test and tune for uh for the summer I guess probably not the best weekend for a test and tune because it's like a thousand to win in like five different classes but we're gonna go down anyway and give it a shot and try and figure some stuff out so we don't totally suck whenever we go down there this summer uh, Kirk's feeling a little spicy and uh, she's wanting to run so we're going to get a clone bolted onto her cart and button up a couple of small things here so we can get ready to load up and make the four hour trek down to uh, central Kentucky so maybe we'll see you there. All right we're getting loaded up for the first race of the season. I'm excited. Are you excited? Are you excited? <laughs> She said she's excited. Uh, we're going to the farm track, first race of the season. I'm pretty pumped. Uh, be there. By the time you watch this, the race will already be over. So be there the next time. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get loaded up. And uh, we're going to roll out tomorrow after work. So see you all Saturday. Okay guys, this is gonna be a special trip to Bucky's. I got some bad news that Mr. DBR does not wanna mess with carts anymore and he's, he's selling out. So my indoor days and my, my trips to Liberty are over, which means no more monthly trips to Bucky's during the winter. So this might be one of our last few trips down here. So I'm gonna cherish every moment. I'm gonna spend way too much money on snacks and I'm gonna give the Bucky the Beaver statue an extra long hug because I don't know when or if I'll ever be able to come back since uh, my uh, winter oh, indoor days right. may be over. So I'm going to go in here and enjoy every last second of what so could weird. be my final trip to Bucky's. What? You're so weird. Oh, also, Kirky decided she wanted to try uh, driving the truck and trailer, and she's doing an amazing job. She did really good for her first time towing the trailer, so I'm proud of her. To the Buckies. To the Buckies. Slight right for Republic Way. For maybe the last time. Right the Republic Way. I'm going to end this before I start crying, so. <laughs> it is a beautiful, crisp spring morning deep in the haulers of Kentucky. It's going to be a great day for racing. Nice red clay track. It looks pretty. Very picturesque. This truck and trailer is nice. <laughs> I know, but all I can see is this truck.
okay, made it home. Uh, I had a lot of fun this weekend and I would call it a success. Uh, Kirk ran probably the best race I've ever seen her run. She started ninth and finished seventh. She made a pass, but as far as consistency goes and hitting her marks and like running a good race, by far the least mistakes I've ever seen her make. She did a very good job. So I think, you know, getting out and coming to these places and getting away from Crydersville and, you know, letting her experience some different things is going to help her improve a ton. Because if she had ran a race that good at Crydersville, she probably would have been top three. Like she was, she was on it. She did a good job. I didn't do too bad either. I qualified really, really bad. I qualified 20th. We were, you know, sucking. Uh, but thanks to Jamie Dunn, he gave me a set of tires for the feature and we were able to go from 20th to 11th. So that was awesome. Uh, tires make a big difference. You know, I had three sets and they were all 2021s and they were older and it just wasn't working. So huge thanks to John for, or Jamie, whatever you want to call him for, uh, let me borrow a set of tires for the feature and, you know, able to make some passes and move up through the field. So that was awesome. Greatly, greatly appreciate that. And all the help he's given us at, you know, obviously the farm track and Liberty this winter appreciate it a ton you know if it wasn't for him i wouldn't have ever moved up out of 20th i probably would have ended up pulling off a lap down so big thanks to jamie uh the farm track is amazing it's big it's fast red clay it's beautiful the facilities are nice it's by far the most beautiful go-kart track i've ever been to and it was ran really well um this trip was a bit of an eye-opener i guess as fun as it was and as much as i enjoyed it it was also kind of disappointing because we don't have anything like this in Ohio. You know, you got Crydersville and Martinville and Fremont and they all fight against each other. They all work against each other. And it's like, it's stupid because like there was guys from J&M and the guy from Liberty and the guy from Clay City. They were all here helping. They were all helping put the show on and, you know, it ran well. They, they weren't fighting against each other. They were working together. And it's just a shame to, to kind of see, you know, how well everything ran down here and how everyone works together when, in Ohio, they're all just fighting against each other, you know? Like, the track prep was awesome. You know, it got it got hard and black and fast, and it was fairly smooth. It started to come apart in the feature, but that, that is what it is. You can't always be perfect, but it's like, if you just put in a little bit of effort and you all quit fighting each other, you know, you can have really nice stuff like this. So they're just on a whole different level in Kentucky. It, that's just all there is to it. Ohio karting has a lot to learn. And I think some people need to take a trip down to some of these tracks and take notes and figure some stuff out because this was one of the best experiences I've had racing a kart, just overall. Yeah, the, the Ohio tracks need to take some notes because they're on a whole different level down here. So is what it is, I guess, a lot to learn. Uh, overall, good experience. And uh, we're gonna get in our notebook and write some stuff down and come back in the summer and hopefully be a little better, hopefully have some better tires. So uh, we'll see. So hope you all enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one. Stop. What? Go away.